Hello students. Today we are continuing with our PYQ series and today's topic is uh, percentages. There have been few questions on this topic. Uh, so we shall see from 2023 to 2019 we are covering. Uh, in 2023 there was no great question. So let us start with 2022 question. We have 70% of some number X is added to another number Y and the sum becomes 165% of the value of Y. So basically we just we will just write it down uh, as it comes. We have 70% of X plus Y is equal to 165% of Y. And another information is when 60% of number X is added to another number Z. So 60% of Z, 60% of X rather plus Z, we are getting 165% of Z. Then which of the following is correct? We have to, uh, we, have, we want to comment on relative sizes of X, Y and Z. So we have y here, we have y here. Let us take y on that side and x on one side. So from first equation, we have 70% of x is equal to 165 minus y. And y is basically 100% of y. 165 minus 100 is 65% of y. And we have 60% of x is equal to again 65% of z. Now, which of the, which among x and y are, y is bigger? See, 70% of X is same as 65% of Y. So, there is some quantity X of which we have to take 70% for it to be equal to 65% of Y. So, or if you still don't want to confuse, we can just simplify by writing 70 by 100 X is equal to 65 by 100 Y. 100 will get cut and we'll have uh, x by y is equal to 65 by 70. Clearly y is bigger than x. See? So we have x is less than y. Similarly, from here we'll have, let me remove this. From here we'll have 60 by 100 x is equal to 65 by 100 z and we'll have x by z is equal to 65 by 60. So now x is bigger than z. So this is your answer. z is the smallest, z is greater than x is greater than y. Answer here is a. Very simple question. All you needed to do was write down whatever uh, there was in the word problem in form of equations and then let us simplify those equations. So, very easy question in that way. Uh, let us go to next question. This question can come in category of both profit and loss chapter or in percentages chapter. Uh, we can do them in both. Uh, let us see the question. The increase in price of certain item was 25%. Okay. And then price was again decreased by 20%. And then again increased by 10%. What is the resultant increase in the price? So, the, the, in this kind of question, the simplest thing you can do is assume that initial price was 100 and work upon it. Because anyway, we are talking in terms of percentages. Cent is 100 per 100. So, when we start with price as 100, uh, what uh, the simplification is that we don't have to <coughs> multiply it with the percentage. We can simply, because 20% of 100 is 20, 10% of 100 is 10, etc. So, it becomes, it simplifies the calculation uh, for our ultimate calculation as well. Because ultimate increase, resultant increase in the price, we can calculate on the base of 100. So, if we start with 100, they are saying increase was 25%. <coughs> so, it becomes 125, 25% increase. Then the price was decreased by 20%. Now the decreased of 20% would be on the basis on the 125 base. So 120% of 125, which is nothing but 20% of 125, which is 1 by 5 of 125, which is 25. So it is decreased by 25. So it again becomes 100. So minus 20% either again. 
and then again increase by 10 percent. 10 percent increase on 100 is again 110. So, what is the resultant increase? Ultimately, what is the result from 100? We go, we went to 110. So, resultant increase is simply 10 percent. From 100, we went to 110. That is why beginning with 100 was useful because ultimately 110 we got. So, directly we got the result as 10 percent increase. See this question. Uh, I think we have done this question in the, the uh, I don't know, arithmetic chapter, I think. But let us let us do it once again. No problem. No harm in that. We have two candidates uh, standing for election. And uh, out of all the eligible voters, they are saying that 80% of people casted their votes. And out of the casted votes, this X got 56%. And rest of it automatically goes to Y because there is no nota that has been mentioned. So, 56% of the votes go to X and then 44% of the votes go to Y. And the difference between their votes has been given as uh, 1, 4, 4, 0. So, you, let us see. We have question is total number of voters. So, if total number of voters is N, out of which 80% have voted, 80% of N have voted, out of which 56% goes to X and 44% goes to Y. And the difference among them is given as 1440. So, what is different among them? 56% minus 44% is basically 12% of this 80% of N. These many votes are equivalent to 1440. Now, we can simplify and solve for N. N is the only unknown in here. So, we have n is equal to 1440 divided by 80 into 12 into 100 into 100. This is just simplification of this. So, we can cut the 0. It's 12. 12 twelves are 44. Then this is uh, 8 you can. You can divide by 4 here. It becomes 3. You can divide by 2 here. It becomes 50. So, 50 into 3, 150 into uh, 15 to 3, 150 into 100 is 15,000. Very simple question. We have solved this, uh, but very simple question in that regard. Only percentages needed to be. <coughs> this is another question that we have solved yesterday only uh, in geometry uh, geometry PYQ, uh, PYQ series. You can watch that video once again. I uh, will not repeat this question here, but uh, I have included in this uh, <coughs> booklet because this is also based on percentages. Next question C. The question has been repeated here. Almost on the same lines, we had a question in 2022 and almost on the same lines, we have a question in 2021. Question is price of atom is decreased by 20%. So, and what we, have, what we have seen that ultimately in this kind of question, it is always beneficial to start with initial price of 100 because an ultimate increase or decrease, the net increase or decrease can be easily surmised on the base 100. So, we start with 100, we see that decrease of 20%. So, it is, it goes to 80 from 100, 20% decrease is 80. The new prices is increased by 25%. So, now 25% increase, we have to calculate 25% of 80. If you know 25% is nothing but 1 fourth and 1 fourth of 80 is 20. So, we add by 20. Or you can calculate as well if you are not comfortable. 25 percent of 80 is equal to 25 by 100 into 80. This is 1 4 and 20. You add 20 in 80, you get again 100. Then what is the net change in the price? From 100, it became 100. What is the net change? Net change is 0. Very simple. <coughs> Huh. Next question, again, uh, question based on percentages. In a class, 60% student are from India, 50% are girls and 30% of the Indian students are girls. Then what is, what percentage of foreign students are boys? So, there are two kinds of students, Indian and foreign and uh, the percentages of that is, uh, in percentage of Indians is given, percentages of boys is given. Okay. 
what we know is that out of the class let us see let us again start with 100 because again percentage if we want to talk in terms of percentages so let's start with 100 60 percent of students are from india 60 are from india so rest 40 would be from foreign that which we that which we can say and 50 percent of the students are girls so out of again this initial 100 50 are boys 50 are girls okay okay and we have 30% of the Indian students are girls. So, these are Indian students. Out of them, 30% are girls. 30% are girls. Rest 70% would be boys. What, so, what is 30% of Indians? 30% of 60. 30% of 60, which is equal to 30 by 100 into 60. 6 into 3, 18. So, 18 among the Indian are girls, right? 18 girls are here. And then out of these foreigners, how many are girls? Total girls we know are 50. Total girls we know are 50. 18 girls are Indian. So, rest of the girls are foreign. So, 50 minus 18, it is 32. 32 are girls and remaining 8 would be boys. So, out of 40, we have 8 boys. That is the question. Then what is the percent of foreign students? That is boys. 8 out of 40. 8 out of 40. And because we want to calculate percentage, we multiply by 100. So this is 1, 5 and 20. So 20% 20 of the foreigners are boys. Because the rest of them, 80% are girls. Very simple question. All you needed to do was write everything in front of your eyes and simplify. <clears throat> let us see let us see this question <clears throat> p scored 40 marks more than q in an examination okay so there are two people p and q and p has scored 40 percent more marks if q scored 10 percent less marks than p then how much did q score so the question is that let us say p has scored p has scored some x marks and q has scored some uh, then p has scored this then q has scored 40 less marks than q ka puch hai na so let us assume q has x because generally we try to assume whatever is we want to find out as unknown so p becomes x plus 40 okay and what is given q has scored 10 percent less marks than p so, this difference between marks which is 40 is equivalent to 10 percent less, uh, 10 percent less marks than P. So, P ke marks jitne bhi hai, uske 10 percent kam Q ke marks hai, 10 percent of this P ke marks. So, we have uh, X plus 40. So, we can calculate this is 10 percent, we can divide, 10 percent is nothing but 1 by 10. So, 400 is equal to x plus 40, x is equal to 400 minus 40 is nothing but 360. So, marks scored by q is nothing but 360. I hope you are understanding. Uh, if you want detailed explanation, uh, you can always, you are always welcome to join our uh, CSAT Foundation batch. Uh, it is starting from January 8th. Okay, let us see the next question. A and B are two heavy steel blocks. Okay, these are steel blocks. If B is placed on top of A, the weight increases by 60%. Okay. So we have this block A and this block B. They are sitting idly on the ground, let us say. Then what we do? We put block B on top of block A. Okay. And the weight is weight increases by 60%. So if block, uh, let us say weight of A is A itself. 
any unknown we can assume weight of b is d so we have the weight of this entire thing is 160% of a increases by 60% and question then is how much weight will reduce with respect to total weight of a and b if the b is removed from the top now what we are doing is we are removing b and now we want to calculate percentage reduction okay percentage reduction from this to again this so <coughs> with respect to this okay what we do is uh, let us assume let us assume uh, because we want to work in percentages weight of a as 100 so weight of a plus b becomes 160 i am just removing percentages because i am starting with 100 itself now what happens is this again becomes 60 uh, this again becomes 100 when we remove b so what is the percentage change that is we need that is what we need to calculate percentage change is change 60 divided by initial weight into 100 right so we just need to simplify this this is gone uh, 4 4 is a 16 we have 25 here and uh, we can further divide by 2, here we become 3. So, this is 25 into 3, 75 by 2. So, 37.5 percent, that would be the answer. Simply, we have to start from 100 to uh, 100, go to 160, because 60 percent weight has been added, and then come back to original quantity. So, percentage reduction is the absolute reduction divided by the original weight, which is now 160, and into 100, because we want to calculate percentage. Okay, guys, uh, let us see this question. Uh, in an examination, A has scored 20 marks more than, uh, this is not 11, this is B. And if B has scored, this should be 5%, this should be 5% less marks than A, then how much has B scored? Again, very, very similar to what we uh, did earlier. We have A here, we have B. Let us assume that B has scored X marks, so that A has scored X plus 20, and we have difference between that. That is, B has scored 5% less marks. Huh? So, 20 is nothing but 5% of A's marks. So, 20 into 100 by 5 is equal to X plus 20. Uh, here, we will get 400 is equal to X plus 20. So, X is nothing but 380. Answer here is D. Uh, sorry for the typo. Uh, we are done with percentages. Uh, next topic that we need to they want that we want to cover is average.